Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to go over DUSEX Human Resolution with my EMB with Suite Effects, as well I'm also using DSR with my NVIDIA. If you happen to have an ATI, that would be VSR. And you can find the notes for both the mod and the setup, which I'll provide through a link under the video here. Now I'll just push the pause break in order to disable the EMB with the sweet effects. And as you can see the game becomes a bit lighter, but it becomes really flat looking. Where we've lost a lot of the tone and the variations in the actual color. The light and the dark separation kind of fades behind that kind of grayish layer that we see on the game making everything look really flat although it looks nice with the 1440p it doesn't look as nice as it could and I'll just push the pause break again and now we get to see all those nice tones and variations in the color as well as the lights and the darks and everything's coming out a lot more sharp now before I actually do a bit of gameplay here to show you how everything should run. I'm just going to go through my options quickly and just show you the video options that I'm using. Now as far as your luminosity or your brightness, I just have that set at um, the mid-range, although you can adjust that according to your own preference. And as far as the Resolution, as I said, I'm running it in the 1440p, but when using DSR or VSR, you can actually, depending on your system, go right up to the 4K settings. Now, as far as the other, they're just on auto and turn on and such. And I'll just go back to the advanced and quickly show you here. Now I have it running at the DirectX 11. I have the FXAA on high. The shadows are on normal, and depth of field is on normal, the SSAO is on high, your po post processing is on, and the texture filtering I have it at 16 times. Now again, depending on your system, you may want to just alter those. But what I'm going to do is I'll play through the prologue here, just to show you how the game should look and run. But I won't actually go past the prologue into the actual gameplay as I don't really want to spoil too much, but I do want to show you how the game should look and run. And so the first thing when you first start the game here, there are a few items that you want to look at in the office initially here. And basically you just want to look at each one and you can go through the information and such on them however I've already done it in the past so I don't really need to read over everything and the last thing is this little car here so once you've looked at all those items and had your little conversation here then we'll continue on and go through the labs here now I believe the doctor here is the, or scientist, is the head one in the facility as everyone seems to come up to her as we're going through here to ask her for various things and such. Now what they're doing is they're working on advanced robotics and as you can see there's a hand there. And if you look at the various x-rays around us, they all deal with different parts of the human body and what they do is with these advanced robotics, um, they replace certain parts of your body. So they could be used as prosthetic limbs or enhancements, but the problem being is that some people's bodies reject it in, in human rev revolution. Mm. The doctor here has found a way of making those prosthetics work with everyone so that your body won't reject it. And I guess that's a good thing because 
some people can't use them that need them so in this storyline at the start here we're just heading up to the office to kind of go over what's going to be happening in this meeting that she's supposed to be going to and you're supposed to be protecting her but we'll just kind of go through the prologue here and as you can see even this doctor his left arm is one of the prosthetics now the prosthetics kind of remind me of they're like the same thing with I don't know if you watched it six million dollar man where he had prosthetics but they were advanced robotics so they allowed him to do things that a normal prosthetic wouldn't do and of course it was used by the military and as you can see the military's here and we just saw a kinetic bomb which is kind of like a landmine but I'm sure they have other uses for the prosthesis in the same way as those older series and stuff like that so we're just about to the end of the prologue here so we're going up to see David David Seraph he's the owner of the company here and of course the actual company is called Seraph Industries so everything is kind of based around him and we're just going up to basically talk to him right now so that we can go over a few things now as far as these two the doctor and yourself I can I get from the from the various conversations that they have had and they're having right now that at one point or another they were boyfriend and girlfriend but for some reason the two of them separated but it seems like they still have some ongoing issues between the two of them that haven't been resolved you'll find out more about that as you actually play the game I won't give away too many spoilers and such but I don't really know a lot of the background prior to human revolution and, and um, the fall as I only have those two games for the two sex series now I do really enjoy the series the game itself is a really good game it's not one of those ones that you spend two or three hours and you can plead it it's one that you you actually enjoy take some time and invest some effort into actually getting through it but here we are we're at the top of the building here for Seraph Industries and we're gonna just go talk to David here and he's just down in his office here so basically we're just going to meet with him to go over the safety concerns and such for the trip that we're taking with the various scientists in order to talk about the new robotics and prosthesis and the possibility of everyone being able to use it from this new discovery that the doctor has made so we'll just kind of have a conversation here with David and go over a few things now as far as the HDR power that affects the overall lighting in the game whereas the HDR radius affects kind of that white brightness and if you notice that light just ahead of us you can see the separations between each area now if that were all completely whited out then that would be your HDR radius and you'd want to alter that by lowering it so that it would give you the proper light separation the HDR power because this game does have a brightness setting in it you don't really have to worry too much about that but if the game itself didn't have a brightness setting you could use the HDR power for increasing or decreasing the brightness so we've basically gotten through here through the prologue and it looks like the actual lab is now under attack so you've been tasked with going down to the lab and actually finding out what's going on now I believe the code here is 0451 
and you just have to go up and put that code in and then it will take you down to the lower area and get you started there but as I said I'm not going to actually play on here I just wanted to really go through the prologue here and show you everything now hopefully you've enjoyed this video if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this otherwise thanks a lot for watching take care and I'll talk to you again.